Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be some random facts about me. I don't know how many random facts yet because I pulled from a couple of sources and I'm just gonna go through them and answer some questions. I thought this would be fun to do and I didn't like prep for this video or anything. Like I didn't rehearse the answer. So you're just gonna get the real authentic answer. I'm not gonna have too much time to think about it. Um, and then when I'm done, I'm gonna count them all up and put it in a description box to see how many random facts about me you get. So. So, what is your middle name? I don't have a middle name. My middle name was supposed to be Lace, but whoever filled out my birth certificate, like the person that worked at the hospital, they wrote Crystal and the Lace close together. And so when it got time for the birth certificate to be printed out, the, it became one word, like Crystal Lace. Um, and my mom thought it was original, so she decided not to change it. And because of that, I have no middle name, but very unique first name, Crystal Lace, which is the title of um, my blog and YouTube, Hey Crystal Lace. Do you have any siblings? No, I mean, I am an only child. I like to say that my parents got it right the first time. <laughs> That's my only child joke. But um, yeah, I'm an only child. Growing up, it was kind of lonely. I wish I would have had siblings. Um, and now that I'm older, I still wish I would have had siblings for multiple reasons. You kind of have somebody to take over the world with, like a built-in best friend, built-in roommate. Um, so being an only child really forces me to kind of navigate um, the world on my own and really forced me into really putting a lot of effort into friendships and relationships because um, I have to work really hard at it because I don't have a built-in best friend. So, yes, I'm an only child. How tall are you? I'm fun size. <laughs> no, guys, I am five ones. So I am very short, and I don't even know why I'm short. Like my mom was, my mom is five five. My dad was like five ten, five eleven. So I don't even know how I ended up so small, but I'm five one. What are some of your favorite TV shows right now? I'm really into Handmaid's Tale. Um, I was watching This Is Us and Queen Sugar, but when they but when the shows resumed after COVID, the the setting started taking place in COVID, like like the show was going through COVID and I didn't like that. Like I didn't want to watch something that I'm living in real life. Like COVID is stressful enough. So I kind of stopped watching those. I don't know if I'll pick them up again, but right now my favorite favorite TV show is Handmaid's Tale. Did you like school? I love school. I love school. I love to learn. Like I'd be in school right now if I could afford it. Um, school is just fun to me. It's a lot of structure. I love learning new things. It's like a new. It's like a high for me. Um, getting assignments, objective measures. I really love school. Do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets currently. But I did. I am a dog lover, and I've had all female dogs my whole life. And every female dog that I've ever had was named after a spice. So um, the three dogs that I've had were ginger, pepper, and sage. And I don't know why, but if I should get another female dog, of course, I'll keep the tradition going and probably name her like Cinnamon or something. I don't know, we'll see. What's your favorite hobby? Hiking. I love hiking so much. It's just something about being out there in nature. Um, I just love it. It's like some me time. Just put on an audio book or a good playlist and just kind of roam about. I love to hike. I kind of wonder if I ever make it to Mount Everest one day. I don't know, we'll see. What's your dream job? <laughs> This kind of reminds me of the Instagram reels. Like, darling, I have no dream job. I don't dream of labor. <laughs> but no, if I could practice any type of law, it would be wrongful convictions. Getting people out of um, jail who've been, or prison who have been wrongfully convicted and getting them compensated for their damages. Um, that is initially why I went to law school, but I ended up moving and I'm in Georgia. And Georgia is a state that does not offer um, compensation for persons who have been wrongfully convicted. So if you want to do that type of work, it's on a volunteer purpose. It's, you know, very self-sacrificing, very serving. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that I'm not in a financial position yet because of all of my student loan debts to um, work for free. Hopefully it's something that, you know, if my situation changes, I would love to help people um, get out of prison and get compensated. What's your favorite color? Purple. Easy. Purple has been purple my whole life and it's gonna forever be purple. All shades of purple. Purple is just so luxurious and royal. Purple. Another random fact about me is that I love concerts. Concert going, 
that would be on my hobbies list like so after hiking is probably concert going and i do have a concert kind of bucket list wish list and um on that list is a lady gaga i've never seen her but she looks like an amazing performer i would love to see her bruno mars saying the rumors say that he's amazing and i've never gotten a chance to see him taylor swift because i love me some taylor swift um and in sync Y'all, if NSYNC ever announces a reunion tour, I'm throwing, I'm throwing my money. I'm making it rain. Like whatever it is, put me right there. I would just love, 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 love an NSYNC reunion tour. That would be a must. My dream vacation. So my dream vacation is a Disney cruise to Alaska. So I've been on Disney cruises before, and let me tell y'all. Well, granted, I've never been on any other type of cruise, but. I, I promise you nobody's doing it like Disney. Like Disney is a luxury, okay? And it's fun, like I'm a millennial, I grew up on Disney, I love Disney. And I would love to do a Disney cruise again. But the gag is, can we get one without kids? A Disney cruise to Alaska with no kids? Whew. Bucket list. If I could have lunch with any celebrity in the world or meet any celebrity in the world, the answer would be Kanye West. Why? Because it's Kanye West. He's just my favorite. Who's the best rapper? Kanye West. Like, who's the biggest artist? Kanye West. Who's the most influential artist? Kanye West. Who's the GOAT of hip hop? Kanye West. Who's on your hip hop Mount Rushmore? Kanye West. Who's the best producer in hip hop? Kanye West. And then we have so much in common, right? Like, we both from the south side of Chicago. We both are only children, you know, single mother. We like heroes. Like, I just feel like we could vibe all day. I really love Ye. But no, for real, um, this is going to segue into another fact about me. I am a mom. I do have one child. So the, the question is, do you have any kids? Yes, I have one son. And he is soon to be 18. He's gonna be 18 um, literally in a couple of weeks. My baby ain't a baby no more. I had my child when I was 14 years old. And that was a difficult time for me for obvious reasons um, that I'm not gonna get into. While I was pregnant and right before um, I gave birth, my son was born at the very end of 03. Um, and college dropout got released like, I believe it was either January or February of 04. That was Kanye West's first album, if you don't know. But leading up to that, all the radio stations, all they were ever playing back home was Kanye West. Like, it was this new artist just signed with The Rock, and he had all the soul beats. He, he took over the radio in anticipation of the album dropping. So the whole time I was pregnant, um, dealing with the newborn, navigating high school with the, with the new baby, all I was listening to was Kanye West. And then when College Dropout came out, I put it on repeat. And that inspirational, lighthearted, fun rap, that soul rap is what got me through, y'all. I know this sounds weird, but like, Ye was part of my support team. Like, Ye is one of the reasons that I, you know, became a lawyer today. When you're in a situation or an environment that's just um, not the best, not healthy, and it's a lot of static noise, and then you can kind of zone out to some music, and the music is sending you positive messages, and you're vibing with, and it's like, man, like, I feel seen, I feel heard. Like, somebody that's walking these same streets that I'm walking understands me. At that age was major. It, it was such a big deal. And I feel like I kind of grew up with Kanye West as an artist. The same thing when graduation came out. Late, late registration came out like you know it was that inspirational rap that kept me going along with some other artists J. Cole, Drake of course um, but I think the Chicago in Ye speaks to the Chicago in me not to mention I have been to every Kanye West tour concert. I've seen every concert he's had on tour, but every stop he's made in Chicago I've been there and as an avid concert goer no one delivers a show like Ye. Ye will inspire you to take over the world, literally. If you've ever been to one of his concerts, you will leave feeling like you could take over the world. So um, I remember going to my first Ye concert when I was like either like 19 or 20, but I've been to everyone. And like I said, those speeches, though, that music is part of what really kept me going. So if I will, so, if I could meet anybody in the world, any celebrity, have a minute with them, it's yay.
What is your favorite movie? Django. <laughs> Hands down, Django. Like, Django makes me laugh out loud every time that I see it. I love that movie. I, I feel like that movie just didn't get, you know, God, just didn't get the credit that it deserved. It was so hilarious. Like, the writing was just so funny and it was so, you know, just hilarious. I don't know what that has to say, what that says about me and the type of humor that I like, but Django is hilarious and I love it. I watch it all the time. I probably know it by heart and it's just so funny. What is your favorite holiday? My birthday. Um, what is your favorite perfume? This is a tough one because I love perfume. Like I'm a perfume kind of store. Probably got like 40 plus bottles. My favorite perfume is I would have to say this limited edition exotic by Jimmy Choo um and like I said I didn't write prep for this video because I really want to be authentic but I will show you guys the bottom down to like the last drop and I need to find see if I can find it um at a, at a store somewhere because they stopped making it but it might be at one of those resale stores but when I tell you that fragrance turns heads it turns heads on me um I've had women more women than men like, oh, excuse me, what are you wearing? Um, so it's going to be that Jimmy Choo exotic. Whenever I want to make a statement, be seen in the room, if I'm going on a date, Jimmy Choo exotic. What's your favorite book? I'm a true bibliophile, so this is tough. But I would have to say um, The Island Beneath the Sea by Isabel Allende. I love that book. It makes me cry every time that I read it. Um, it's such a just a heartwarming story about women just women and the setting is very old i, I think it takes place in the 1500s or 1600s i might be off 1700s i might be off um but yeah i want to say it was either 16th or 15th century but it just that book just really moves me and it's just you can just get wrapped up in the story and feel like you you live it and you feel like you really get to know the characters and you like man like hey girl i feel you girl no girl don't leave me it's it's just one of those stories so that wraps up all the random facts about me. I hope you guys feel like you know me a little better. I want to get to know you a little better. Drop a comment below and let me know what was your favorite fact or your most surprising fact or what you didn't expect for me to say. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.